When you pick up the newspaper, I can virtually guarantee for, to you, news will be bad from here on out because news doesn't sell unless it's bad. They tried an experiment. They had a, a, whole, a whole TV station dedicated, a channel dedicated to good news and they went bankrupt. You're not tuning in necessarily to hear about good news. Most people are looking at the news to find out what's going on that interests them. The more, uh, the more bizarre it is, the more outrageous it is, the more, the more advertising sells. That's why you've got to recognize something in our profession, and I'm in media. We have what's called slow news days. Slow news days is when we create stories to hook you into the stories until something really good shows up. And if you're discerning it, you could see it. For instance, on 9-11, going way back to 9-11, 9-11, how, how many of you remember where you were when you heard about 9-11? Do you want to know the number one story that was in the news for a week before 9-11? Was Chandra Levy, the missing intern of a congressman in California. Oh, Nightline was covering it. Ted Koppel was covering it. The news, what about the missing intern? Went for a jog one day. Now it's like normal activity in any city. Go for a jog, you're dead. <laughs> But here, the whole nation was fixated about Chandra Levy, the missing intern. 9-11 happens. Nobody could care less about Chandra Levy. That was, that was make-believe news. It was an incident that happened, but it wasn't nearly worth stopping the world to talk about. There's tragedies like that all the time. So if I could give you a key, it's that you've got to learn how to be able to pick up the newspaper and read the newspaper and see what God's doing behind the bad news. Oh boy, subscribe right now.